Hey guys, time for a brand new video. Since my Blu-ray collection video sparked a huge amount of views, I decided why not do some more things. And I decided to combine that with uh, my Straight Outta Compton Steelbook unboxing. You remember how much views that got. That's my most viewed video on the channel. So, it's time to do every single one of my Steelbooks. Now, if you didn't know, I am a huge Steelbook fan, and they are my passion when it comes to Blu-rays. If a new movie comes out that I enjoy, or people seem to enjoy, if there's a Steelbook, I'll get it. So, basically, how we're going to go through this is, um, just going to go through all these Steelbooks. There will be metal packs, and there will also be a... a iron pack but let's get to it first up uh, we gotta be careful Anchorman 1 and 2 love both of these movies actually I know it's weird to like Anchorman 2 but you know what? I had a blast with it I think I might be one of the only people to actually love Anchorman 2 then we have Avengers Age of Ultron uh, sorry uh, probably my second favorite Marvel film. Uh, my all-time favorite is Guardians of the Galaxy. And, uh, yeah, Best Buy exclusive. Really awesome steelbook. You see, I got the, uh, the Ultron back. Because, you know what? Uh, Ultron was the better character, even though the Vision design is a much better design overall. Uh, sorry for me keep hitting the camera. Then we have my all-time favorite movie, Back to the Future. And uh, some really nice inside artwork as well. Um, if you can't see uh, Marty and Doc. It's sad what's happening with uh, Chris, no, not Christopher, Michael J. Fox. Um, so yeah, very, very nice. Um, I, I didn't get this when it went on sale. I got this, um, basically on release day, so I didn't get it on sale. So, yeah, I wish I got it on release day. Then we have one of my all-time favorite Christmas movies, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Uh, yeah, uh, you may be thinking, hey, Jared, why the hell isn't it in the end section? Well, every... If you took all the National Lampoon movies and put them together, yeah, it wouldn't look too good. Too many of them. So, basically, whenever I get one of these movies, I basically put them under whatever's next. So, yeah, when I get Vacation, that goes in V. Then we have one of my all-time favorite movies, probably my favorite Tim Burton film, Edward Scissorhands. Basically, a big tribute to horror films. And, uh, yeah, snazzy steelbook. Very nice. Oh, crap. Then we have one of Steven Spielberg's best films, E.T. Yeah, I didn't go with the Digi book. Uh, I just didn't feel like it. Uh, it's kind of hard doing this video with uh, the lighting. It's kind of... Let me just fix that. Okay. There we go. So yeah, very nice steelbook. Uh, actually, recently, Steven Spielberg's newest film, Bridge of Spies, came to Blu-ray. Then we have another metal, well, my first metal pack, Godzilla. And as you know, this is my favorite movie of 2014, and it has the button that roars. Yeah, mine actually works. Yeah. I love the Godzilla films. It's my all-time favorite film franchise. And then we have a new one. Uh, yeah. The Last Witch Hunter Steelbook. Yeah, very nice. Still haven't seen the film yet. Ooh. I don't want them to hit each other. Then we have the Mission Impossible Ultimate Collection. Now, many people, um, for some reason, there's, um, 
either didn't have the digital copies or the movies were out of order, mine was perfectly fine. So, yeah. Then we have Rogue Nation by itself. Really great film. My second favorite in the franchise. I really enjoy the Mission Impossible films. Uh, I like them all except for the second one. I really don't like that one. Then we have another another metal pack, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Yeah, as you can see, there's a big dent. But I really didn't care. Now, this is one of the, my most damaged steelbooks. Sorry. Big brain fart. Uh, as you see, um, yeah, super chipped. So I really need to get a replacement. Then we have Pulp Fiction. Still need to watch this. Uh, I got the steelbook because it looked really nice. Oh, coincidentally, two Quentin Tarantino films right next to each other. We have um, one of my all-time favorite films, Reservoir Dogs. Um, leave this answer. Um, I want to know, uh, what genre do you guys put Reservoir Dogs under? Because I need to know. Put the answer in the comments below. Man, it's so fun saying that. Then we have Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Definitely one of my all-time favorite films. Um, just makes you feel like you're watching a video game play out. Uh, now, the rest of these I saw. So, uh, yeah. Southpaw, fantastic film. Basically about the darker um, side of a boxer's life. Ooh, this is getting scary. Then we have The Only Iron Pack. Spaceballs. Yeah, great movie. Straight Outta Compton, a film that I definitely recommend if you want to learn more about N.W.A. Come on. Okay. Then we have Terminator 2 Judgment Day, the best action film ever made. Undoubtedly, pretty much everybody says that's the greatest action film ever made. Another metal pack, we have Zombieland. Good stuff. Really enjoy that movie. Um, uh, still need to watch American Ultra and uh, Shaun of the Dead. Um, I have no idea what American Ultra has to do with that, maybe because it starts Jesse Eisenberg. And then we have, finally, Zoolander with, uh, there's a... This came with a headband. Yeah. So anyway, uh, let's just put this back. Really enjoyed that film. Um, definitely uh, Ben Stiller's best film, or at least in my opinion. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of every single one of my steelbooks. I'll be collecting many more in the future. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be changing up some things on my channel. Um, basically, I won't do monthly updates anymore. Sorry, but I'm going to do updates whenever I get around 12 Blu-rays. Um, so, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Jerry the Collector telling you, always trust your instincts because sometimes movies can cheat you.